Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days in five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, and Southwest Suffolk County on Long Island, where they're not getting lake effect snows. Uh, but where they are, I don't even think these will work <laughs> in some places where we've already seen Orchard Park. Uh, in western New York is up to 60 inches. They've got five feet on the ground, and they still have uh, another day and a half of this, almost two days more of this. Uh, but no matter, we'll have uh, our share of snow this winter, I'm sure, and some ice. So if you need anything like a new snow blower or any snow and ice melt products, Omni's the place. 631-756-1125, the best prices anywhere, omnitruevalue.com is the website. I'm going to go right to the Buffalo radar. And uh, the actual city of Buffalo uh, has picked up anywhere from eight inches on the north side to a foot on the south side. And that foot was measured at the airport. And then you just go a little bit further to the south and you start getting into these double digit uh, 20 inch plus amounts and, and 30 inch plus amounts and 40 inch plus amounts. And this band tonight is a little bit further south than where it was yesterday. So it's just missing Buffalo now, but just go a handful of miles to the south and you've got these dark green and even yellow echoes showing up. Uh, I'm sure there's probably some lightning and thunder. Uh, looks like uh, one of those heavier cells just went through Dunkirk uh, as of uh, 646 Eastern time. And then that band extends eastward south of I-90. So Rochester, not seeing very much. Geneva, not really seeing very much uh, out of this, just as, just as uh, two examples. And uh, there's more to go. And I just want to just show you the uh, snowfall forecast map. Now, this map is on top of what's already fallen. So this is from 1 p.m. tomorrow to 4 a.m. on Monday. So there, uh, Buffalo is forecasting an additional 18 to 24 south of Buffalo, 24 to 30 in Dunkirk, and 24 to 30 in Ripley. Now, in north-central New York, uh, the uh, additional snowfalls, and there have been some significant snowfalls, not, not quite as high as what's in southwest New York. They're going to play some catch-up here. 18 to 24 uh, near Pulaski, Watertown, 30 to 36 inches of additional snows, uh, and Clayton, 18 to 24 on top of what's already on the ground. And you can see the holes in between where you don't have much snowfall. Uh, you head to Rochester, still only an inch or two. So does three to four. Geneva, less than an inch. Dansville, two to three inches. So a remarkable lake effect snow event. And, and it's not even done yet. Meanwhile, as we uh, check our radars here, uh, we actually have some snow sh showers and one or two snow squalls. Those boxes there are for snow squall warnings in parts of eastern Pennsylvania near Scranton and uh, down along I-81. This, again, this is as of just shy of 7 o'clock eastern time. These upper troughs are moving through. This lead one has got a little bit of energy to it. And don't be surprised if you see uh, a snow shower or maybe even a heavier snow shower that whitens the ground. Uh, during tonight, as this air this area here on the radar uh, moves on uh, to the east, right here. So this, this all, it's all this in southeast PA. Now there's some, some in areas where the temperatures are just a shade too warm. It might even come down as a little bit of rain. Uh, here's a big band of snow, by the way, going up into north central New York, with also a couple of thunderstorms in there. Uh, you still have a couple of more upper troughs to go through. There's one that's actually off the map. So that is still uh, moving on to the east. Now, as far as precipitation goes this week, I don't think we're going to see much of anything other than whatever falls tonight. And you see WPC even has a little patch of green there over parts of New Jersey and Northeast PA and out to about Long Island. But other than that, uh, it's going to be mostly dry for the next uh, seven days or so, uh, actually six days. Uh, because uh, day two, day three, day four, actually much of the country is going to be on the dry side. Now, if you're traveling Wednesday, except if you're flying down into Florida where there might be some rain or showers there, much of the country is fine. So wherever you're going, weather will not be your problem. Thanksgiving Day, we're going to start to see rains across the Gulf states in the southeast. And on day seven, 
uh, the uh, WPC has got uh, a quarter of an inch of rain, re- uh, or, I'm sorry, a quarter of an inch of liquid precip reaching up into Maine, back through Pennsylvania, some half inch amounts in western Virginia, parts of West Virginia, uh, otherwise at least through uh, Friday evening, uh, the amounts are showing a, mainly a quarter to at most a half, but then we may have more precip Friday night and on Saturday. And I do want to show you that on their long-range snowfall forecast, uh, WPC, the Weather Prediction Center, uh, is still holding on to an area in green here, north central, northeast PA, northwest New Jersey, the Hudson Valley north of 84, northwest Connecticut, uh, and points northward a 10 to 40 percent, a 10 to 30 percent chance of at least uh, three, let's say at least three inches of of uh, snow possible. Now, one of the things I can just tell you here is, with respect to the longer range, is that it's still not clear to me how this is all going to play out. Uh, the models have kind of backed away on the idea of a strong block building down, but I want to see confirmation of that over the weekend before we throw in the towel on uh, any kind of a snow event. But we know for now, this trough goes through tonight. The rest of the weekend is just going to be cold and dry. Uh, it's also going to get a bit on the wind, breezy side or maybe even windy for a, for a time on Sunday. And the core of the cold air coming in on Sunday, then it goes out on Monday and we'll start to moderate a bit Tuesday and Wednesday. So look for highs tomorrow, Saturday, upper 30s and low 40s, eastern PA to southern New England, 30s to near 40 on Sunday, back into the 40s on Monday, and then I think we'll be in the mid to upper 40s Tuesday with sunshine. And Wednesday, we should have a fair day with temperatures uh, probably upper 40s and low 50s. And right now, Thanksgiving Day, we'll go for sunshine giving way to arriving clouds, There's a high building down from eastern Canada. There's a system coming in from the west. And uh, I think with the wind that may be primarily more off the ocean than anything else, temperatures are probably going to be back in the 40s for highs. But the day side for Thanksgiving looks dry and maybe precipitation arrives sometime late Thursday night or on Friday. And we'll keep you up to date on how this all winds up playing out over the weekend. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And yes, they've got snowblowers there. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. So on that note, have a great night and a great weekend. There's no Joe and Joe show tonight, nor will we have one tomorrow. But we will be back Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time to update you on Thanksgiving week and what, if any, Uh, weather problems that we may or may not have for the upcoming holiday week. Have a great, uh, have a great night.